Alright guys, so today I have my new orchids here for you to see. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to do the unboxing video. They arrived really late last night and um, I just had to get them out the box and some of them were sitting in really wet sphagnum moss. The one was mounted and super dry and all kinds of things um, and I literally had five minutes this morning so I quickly repotted some of them I changed the pots obviously after washing and all the rest of it but here they are one of my orchids that I ordered actually came as the wrong orchid luckily they have said they'll just add it to my next orchid and gave me the orchid that they sent me by accident for free so all's well that ends well so anyway, we're back in the kitchen today because we're having a bit of a watering day. And obviously watering the new dry media for some of these orchids. The ones that were sitting in the wet moss. Uh, I haven't watered the new media because the media really needs to dry up. So anyway, as you can see, this was Phalaenopsis I was talking about yesterday, the other day. As you can see, she's had a really... Sorry, it's yeah, there we go. She's had a really good drink. See all the roots are wet. I don't let water sit this high. The water goes to about there in the pot, but she obviously drinks it up and takes it to the plant. Anyway, so starting with this one. Now this is not the Tetraspis as you can see, but this is the Paphiopedilum Colossum. So really excited to have this one. As you can see, it's really tiny, not even the size of my hand. It is a baby. It has no roots. This was the only one that came that I wasn't happy with the root system. It was sitting in really dry bark and all the rest of it. So my sphagnum moss arrived yesterday as well. So I've repotted it in a little bit of a bigger pot um, than it was, just basically one size up. It is mainly bark that it's in. But I've put sphagnum moss around the top. This is just to keep the one little root that it does have moist so that the plant has moisture because paphiopedilums don't like completely drying out. And it'll just encourage new roots to grow and keep those new roots nice and moist. So I will let this dry. This is quite wet still so I won't water it again today. But in a couple days time when it's almost dry I will water it again. It needs to retain some moisture to encourage it to grow and obviously it needs to settle in its pot so it's going to be disturbed for about a week or so but from there it should pick up and keep going so I'm really glad it's in really good condition otherwise I love the model D is my favorite so I'm really happy about that now this in this tiny little pot this is the Tulumnia Drake Flyer I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right I've always wanted a Tulumnia. Now this did come mounted, but as you can see, from spending time on transport, it is not looking happy. So its new growth is really good. It's obviously grown that way because of being mounted. So what I've done is put it, there is some bark in there. Tulumnias like being air dried. They don't like staying wet, but because this one was sitting on a piece of wood and had totally dried out. I've just put it like this for now. I do want it potted. I'm not a fan of mounted orchids. Um, but I'll eventually pot it once its roots have established. I'll pot it just in bark just so it has some uh, air on the roots. I, I prefer bark. Some people don't. Some people do. I do. So this is what this orchid will be planted in. Um, also really good condition as you can see it does have roots but obviously I disturbed it because I took it off it is really really look at that it's just wobbly in the pot but it's sitting as roots are getting some moisture and that's what's important then this was the orchid that I wasn't supposed to get but I got so this is what is it called I keep forgetting this what was this one called because I didn't order it, I can never forget it, remember it. Anyway, I'll put the um, the name in the comments. Just trying to think what it was. Anyway, so I can see why they made a mistake. It does look similar. It was supposed to be my Sarcopsis. It does look similar to Sarcopsis. But anyway, this orchid is in really good condition. It has really good roots. Um, it's nice and healthy, the little pseudobulbous plums, it's new growth, I don't know if you can see it's like silk, it's so pretty. 
Um, I'll have to do some research on how to care for this orchid. It did come totally in sopping wet sphagnum moss. So I have planted it in bark with a sphagnum moss layer at the top. I assume it was planted like that because these orchids like water and don't like to dry out. But obviously being totally in sphagnum moss you're going to get root rot and all kinds of things. So that is why this changed. Um, this sphagnum moss is wet to keep it moist. Once I know a little bit more about this orchid i'll care for it properly um this isn't the pot it came in again i put it in this pot because it's a smaller pot but it has room to grow orchids don't like big pots for people who are wondering why i keep them in small pots they like to literally go one size up so this orchid here my phalaenopsis she's pretty much outgrown her pot as you can see the roots are coming out everywhere her root broke off when i watered it just now from growing out the bottom so when she's finished blooming i'm not going to disturb her now but when she's finished blooming um i will repot her in one size up they don't like big pots then lastly which was probably my favorite orchid of all which is currently getting some water here let's just move that out the way this is the phalaenopsis tetraspis so she's just getting some water why because her roots are really dry um, I repotted her in bark which is totally dry so the bark needs to soak as well and she's a summer blooming orchid they like um, a little bit more water than other phalaenopsis orchids as you can see she had a flower spike the flowers are spent which is fine but I'm not gonna cut this they do rebloom I don't know if you can see see if it'll focus on the top here come on let's see if we can get this there we go so as you can see that still has potential to grow and if we look over there there's another flower spike so i have disturbed her now by repotting her which disturbs all orchids but the good thing is is that she was really healthy her roots were too big for the other pot so she also went a size up i think she'll be happy in this pot her bark medium in the other pot was really old so i think this will be better for her she'll have a couple days of stress but she'll settle down nicely so i'm not concerned anyway guys those were my four new orchids from my orchid haul so i'm really glad they arrived all relatively healthy apart from one being the wrong orchid and one having no roots but that's okay we can sort that out anyway please subscribe to my page i will do um a care sheet on some of these orchids soon obviously not on that one because i'm not too sure how to look after it yet but let's see how we go thanks guys